disastrous show that I made for David's organization, which, thank God, was made for America because it was never shown in England. <laughs> and <laughs> Graham Chapman and I wrote a, a rather, quite a funny sketch about uh, a, um, a second-hand car salesman. It was based on a fellow that uh, Michael Palin had, had bought a car from, who <laughs> was wonderfully slippery and evasive. And Michael bought the car, and he came in a couple of days later, and said, you know, this gearbox is very stiff. Uh, the, the guy said, well, it must have been in the side of the top class car. That is, uh, <laughs> expect a sticky gearbox first 5,000 miles off. That would be perfect. But that's a sign of a, a lovely car, that was Mr. Palin. And he came in a couple of days later, and he, he complained about something else. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and the guy said, well, Mr. Palin, you have any trouble with that? Bring, you just bring it in. And he said, well, I am having trouble with it. I, I have brought it in. He said, well, you don't have any trouble, bring it in. And he was having a slippery way. <laughs> and Graham and I were fascinated with this. So we wrote it about the car, and it was OK. It wasn't a very good sketch. So we started Monty Python. I found it in a bottom drawer, you know. And I said to Gray, you know, there's something about this sketch I like. And the boring bit is it's a second-hand car, which is a cliche. What else could it be? And he said, a pet shop. <laughs> so then we had to decide, what, what, what is it, a dead dog? Because people like dogs too much. So <laughs> have a dead dog, it wouldn't work. And then we thought, could it be a cat? No, because I love cats. I'm not having a dead cat. And then could it be a mouse? No, that's too tiny and sweet. And I thought, well, what could it be? Something bigger. And I suddenly thought, a parrot. Because <laughs> <laughs> to uh, read the thesaurus, you know, and all the words for dead, which was wonderful. And then we had to rewrite it twice to get Michael's character's responses right. So it took a long time, but it's one of the few occasions when I can actually remember why a sketch happened, because normally they just it's just an idea that pops in your head. You mentioned the thesaurus. Yeah. You really do sometimes just open the thesaurus and get five funny words. Yeah, and I remember one particular, because it was the first Monty Python sketch ever uh, ever recorded, and I remember we were just flipping through it, and I just was reading words out, cauliflower. And then I came to plummet, and I said, plummet, and Graham said something like, hmm, like plummet. <laughs> <laughs> and then we sort of thought, well, what would plummet? And we thought, well, something that tried to fly that couldn't fly, like a sheep. <laughs> so three sheep tried to fly. <laughs> well, we wrote a whole sketch about these, these sheep who were trying to learn how to fly. Because they had a, they had a leader called Harold who realized that the fate of a sheep is not very desirable. You know, somebody finishes up eating you, so they were trying to escape by flying out of the field. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be a little peculiar. <laughs> um, 